All right, in this video, I'm going to be looking at what happens when you bury the remains of your crawfish boil in the soil. I'm going to be looking at this over about a one year period where every few months I'm actually going to come back to this spot and exhume the soil. And we're actually going to look at what's happened and what's going on with these crawfish heads, crawfish tails. I've got some napkins in here that we're just kind of from wiping your hands with. And then these uh, kind of half years of corn that are just, they sat in the boil too long and now they're too salty and spicy to really be enjoyed. So um, we're going to go ahead and just throw them in as well. As a bonus, I've got two slices of frozen pizza that I made. I don't even remember when. They've just been in the back of my freezer and I just found them earlier today. So these are definitely not really going to be eaten. So. We're going to add them in as a little bit of a bonus and see over about a year's period what happens to all these food items. Now I've been burying in this garden bed over here, and you'll have to pardon the, they're just rubber snakes to keep the pests away. Um, you know, things like eggshells, banana peels, coffee grounds, onion skins, you know, the typical stuff that there's a lot of information online about with, with really good success. Um, but this is obviously a little bit different where we have the remains of essentially this is probably four pounds of crawfish and change, and the flies have already started to join the after party here. So anyway, um, all I'm going to do is put these in the ground, cover it up. My soil here is very, very heavy. It's this this very dense clay. We got a lot of rain about a week ago, so it's it's still moist enough you know, for me to easily dig through it, but after a couple weeks with no rain, it's going to be you know, pretty much solid. So. Let's go ahead and put this in the ground. All right, so I got it all in here. I went ahead and just kind of broke up those two slices of pizza and uh, mixed them in here. So I've got the crawfish, the, the napkins, the corn, and the, the frozen pizza. And I'd say this is roughly six inches or so deep. I'm gonna have to kind of pack it down. Um, the big thing here is gonna be keeping the pests away. There's a little bit of meat, I'm sure, somewhere still in these heads and claws. I literally just took the, the remainders of the boil uh, within a couple hours and just kind of put them right in here, so uh, we'll see what happens. Uh, I know it's probably a little bit better to keep them closer to the surface in general when you're burying food scraps just to keep it aerobic, but I think <clears throat> being realistic, um, if you're burying something like crawfish tails or things of this nature, the pests are going to be a bigger problem than, than anything else, so it's going to it's gonna have to be a little bit deeper down and a little bit more isolated from, um, you know, the atmospheric air. So I'm gonna go ahead and just go ahead. All right. So off camera, I'm gonna just kind of pack this down and I've got another little clump of grass I'm gonna try and put on top if it does anything at all. But I'm going to go ahead and, after I do that, water it down and then I'll see you guys in a few months.